Hey guys, it's Jerk there, Jerk from RDA. We got another accuracy test today. This one is of the KWA MP9. Got a fully loaded magazine with propane, and I'm using 0.2 gram BBs because I'm currently out of 0.25s. Uh, this gun shoots about 350 feet per second, so I would recommend using something along the lines of 0.25s instead of 0.2s. But we're gonna see what we can do anyway. 55 rounds, propane, loaded up. I'm going to be shooting at these two targets from multiple distances away. This is, uh, I, I classify it as a man-sized target, but it's not man-sized. And here's the headshot target we have. It's only about four inches wide. So let's see how accurate the KWA MP9 is. Something else I forgot to mention, weather today is absolutely horrible. Uh, it's only about 60 degrees, which for the summer is rather cool. And there's a lot of moisture in the air. It's a little bit windy, and overall it's just horrible for gas guns to be functioning during this weather. So this is also going to be sort of a uh, cold stress test to see how well this will work. But first, let's just do the normal accuracy test. 50 feet, headshot target, semi-automatic. Go full auto. Okay, seems decently accurate for CQB situations, which is what you'll probably want to be using this for since it's a uh, small submachine gun, it's what it's made for. But 50 feet is going to be a pretty easy target. Alright, 100 feet away, man sized target. Full auto. Man sized target, 100 feet away, seems pretty easy. Ran out of ammo, time to reload. Back to shooting. Let's go full auto. Okay, so semi-automatic seems to be a little bit sporadic. Again, I'm only using point twos because uh, I'm currently out of point two fives, unfortunately. So if point two fives are going to see a little bit straighter of a shot. However, uh, .2 semi-automatic, a little bit sporadic, you're still going to be able to hit the target. Uh, full auto, definitely going to be able to hit the target. It's pretty, it seemed pretty hard to miss on full auto. Uh, but let's go back to 150 feet away. All right, now we are 150 feet away. We're going to see if we can still hit this target. So man-sized target first, semi-automatic. Seems like we're hitting on semi, let's go full. Let's go reload. Alright guys, here's the deal. So point twos we're not cutting it. I'm out of point two fives, but I found some point two eights. Now point two eights are personally I think a little bit too heavy for this gun. However, I think they're gonna do a better job than point twos are. So here's some TSD point two eights. Let's go ahead and redo this man sized target. First semi automatic. Yeah, and as you guys can see, they're flying a lot straighter and a lot more consistent. Let's go full auto. Definitely flying a lot more straighter. You can see 150 feet man target targets going to be a pretty easy target. Now, I'm not going to lie. It is doing a little bit of spray and pray. Uh, it is kind of spraying around in different directions, but still easily going to be able to hit a man size target 150 feet. All right, now we are 150 feet away. Headshot target, this is really gonna push it. Um, I, I'm honestly, I'm gonna put a prediction out here. I honestly don't think it's going to be as accurate enough to drill the target, but I think we're gonna hit it a few times. All right, semi-automatic. Full auto. Starting to get a little bit cold. And we're out of BBs. So as I predicted, we were able to hit it a few times. A few on semi-automatic, uh, a lot more on full auto because it's more or less spray and pray once you go full auto. But it seems to be that the furthest range that you're going to accurately be able to hit someone is going to be 150 feet at a man-sized target. Don't be planning on getting any headshots at 150 feet. and that 
at least we have enough room to actually test this one. So 150 feet man size target seems to be the furthest range for this gun. All right, so we resumed all the way out, 150 feet away. We're just going to be shooting down range. Got a magazine. I loaded back up the point twos to save my point two eights up. Let's load this up. And let's start shooting it. It's going to be kind of hard to do at this angle, but let's do it anyway. So first semi-automatic. Full auto. And out of BBs. And as you can see, this is starting to get a little bit cold, but it's still functioning. Even though it's cold, it's still working. You can even see the frost. See, look at that. On the nozzle, it's completely frozen. And it's still functioning. The original KSC wouldn't do that. It was still good at, it was good at gas consumption, um, but not this good. This is using the KWA and S2 system. And there you can see the frost on the piston. So, so for the second half of this test, in terms of being in cold, it's doing pretty good. Uh, I just <laughs> I just put about a good five magazines through it, doing this accuracy test one after another, and it's still functioning. See how much gas it has left. And again, this is completely empty, so don't worry. Hold down the bolt catch. There you go. Wow. That's really good on gas. Okay, so that would have been a good, about a good three magazines worth on a 60 degree day that is, I mean, really high moisture. Gas guns don't like that when it's very cold moisture as well. That's great for gas consumption. Uh, on a warmer day, you'll probably end up getting about a good four magazines out of this. So, <laughs> another thumbs up to KWA's NS2 system. All right, so as you guys just saw for a CQB size, I mean, this is a very small, submachine gun, it's actually decently accurate. At 150 feet, you're going to be able to aim and hit a man-sized target. It's going to be a little bit harder to hit a headshot target. It's going to be more of a spray and pray object if you really want to do that. Wouldn't recommend doing it anyway. It would kind of get you in trouble. However, you can hit targets further ranges with this. This is just proving that if you want to take this in the woodland, it's accurate enough to do. Now, I'm not saying this is the most accurate gun in the world. Don't get me wrong. AGs, most AGs anyway, this depends on the gun, will outrange this. However, in terms of accuracy, this can stack up against AGs any day. Most of, the, most of the time when you're running up against people, they're going to be about 150 feet away or closer. So this is definitely going to stack up with accuracy, and also it's intimidating. Uh, if you're standing near the guy shooting it, it's not so bad when you're shooting it, but if you're standing near the guy shooting it, your ears are going to be ringing. It's loud and it has about 1,250 rounds a minute. I don't want to be on the other end of that. It is shooting 350 feet per second. I really don't want to be shot with that. That's going to hurt. So along with being intimidating, it has some great accuracy. So if you want to buy this gun, there's a link down below to RDA's website. There's also a link down below to RDA's form. So with that said, that has been Red Dragon Airsoft's accuracy test of the KWA MP9.